to the Nazis, Yemach Shemam V'Zichram, in the Holocaust, in the beginning, they wanted the Red Cross to think that they were good people. So in the concentration camps, if someone did something wrong, they would make a mock court. And they would take a Jew and make him judge. They would take a Jew and make him prosecutor, and ma take a Jew and make him a lawyer. And they would take a Jew to write the stenograph, to write the case. And that way they could tell the world, listen, what do you want from us? The Jews are judging the Jews. We, and they showed this to the Red Cross. So there's a story, it's written. Unbelievable. And when I heard the story, I was mama shaking. There was a story of a woman, she was being judged because they caught her smuggling in some bread into the ghetto. So they made a mock, this was actually done in the ghetto, they made a, a mock court. And the Germans rounded up a couple of Jews, they made this Jew, they wanted the Jews to judge the Jews, they were so evil. They wanted us to hurt each other. This was their, to break our spirit. So they, they had a Jew as a judge, and a Jew as a prosecutor, and a Jew as a defender, and there was this poor young girl who they caught smuggling into the ghetto. And she's standing there, and the prosecutor has to say, you know, we caught this girl, whatever it is, and um, she has to get 40 lashes. She has to be whipped 40 times. And the defense lawyer says to her, plead for mercy. Maybe we could get it down to 20. Plead for mercy. And the Red Cross is watching this. And she doesn't say a word. He says, don't just stand there. Rivka, plead for mercy. She doesn't say a word. So they take her out and they whip her 40 times. Many, 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 many years later, she's an older woman. And maybe in Eretz Yisrael, I don't know where they met. She meets the defending lawyer that was in that case, that mock case, that fake case. And they recognize each other. And he says, Rivkula, and I always wanted to ask you this question. Listen carefully, girls. Why didn't you defend yourself? You could have gotten it down to 20 lashes. Why didn't you say something? And she said, because the case was on Shabbos. And every word that I would say, the Jewish girl, the stenographer who was writing it, would have been Machal Shabbos. So I couldn't say anything. I didn't want her to be Machal Shabbos. Ladies, is that where we're at? Is that how much Shabbos means to us? That's where we need to be at if we want Mashiach. What a story. I cried when I heard the story because I know so many kids that are Mechal Shabbos. I'm like, the generation, two generations after the Holocaust, this girl stood at seven, nine years old and didn't say one word. She took those lashes because the other girl would write down what she said. Me, Ka'am Yisro. Who was like us? Nobody.